Ty Bartell in with another edition of Coach's Corner, and it's my man of the Jefferson Girls Basketball Program this time, Mr. Brandon Hanna. You just can't get enough of the coaching gigs, too. You see him on the sidelines for the gridiron on the football team, but now you take it to the hardwood. Coach, I love, and there's no no doubt, I love your coaching style. I love what you've been able to do with that football program. You took them to heights they hadn't seen before, and you're continuing to, to turn away, too, with a young football team that's continuing to get better. You're taking it to the girls' basketball side of things now, too. First and foremost, what gave you that inspiration to continue coaching, taking it to another team, too, and, and uh, share your knowledge with another sport? Yeah, sure, man. Like I said earlier, I don't, I don't know if I'm just crazy or, <laughs> or what, but uh, no, nah, man, it, listen, it's a blessing. I, uh, you know, I ran a, I was a recreation coordinator in the city of Geneva for about four or five years. And, you know, I got to, you know, have my hands on, you know, every youth program that we had. And, uh, you know, we got to really get our travel basketball program going in the community. And then what happened was I formed, a, you know, the only local girls AAU team. And, uh, man, we've traveled all over the place, a few different states, you know, all over Ohio for the last, I don't know, five, five, six years maybe. And, uh, you know, just grew a passion. I just have a passion for kids, man. It doesn't – boy, girl, you know, it doesn't matter. Just the – I love everything that every sport brings, and each one adds just a, a little a little different spice, a little different element, you know, for life. So, like I said, I'm just lucky. I'm blessed. I'm honored um, to, uh, to, to try something new. You're always, you're always doing something, man. You're always active and involved with something. So I guess with the practices and what you're seeing, you, you guys are going to return a lot, I presume. You only had one senior on last year's team. You got, you're returning a lot. What have you seen in practices? Who's standing down? And what are some names we got to get uh, get used to? Yeah, well, one, I want to give a shout-out to Coach Furman. Um, I, I, he left this program yeah. in, a, in, in a great spot, um, had a lot of good momentum, last year and it was fun to just he you know he gave me a little bit of access and I got to stand behind and just watch and run our eighth grade our junior high program and uh and uh, man you know like I said I'm it was a smooth transition over and, and he's been encouraging me along the way so I want to make sure he gets uh, credit you know as well for this but uh Tatum Bordeaux has stood out um you know returning point guard for us from last year uh, she's shooting the ball well she's handling the ball well making good decisions uh, man, we got a few. I, I, you know, I'll talk about our three seniors. Riley Franklin is another one. Um, just a tough defender. You know, getting more confident with the basketball. Knocks down the open shot. And and uh, Trinity. I don't want to say her last name wrong. But Vela Quet. You know, she'll probably get me later in practice. But uh, I'll I'll learn it as the season goes on. Uh, but man, she's shooting lights out right now. And like I said, it's early. You know, but uh, it, we're we're trying to get up as many shots as we can and, and sweat a little bit and uh, you know, figure this thing out together. When you talk about that transition to what was some of the things, I'm sure you want to keep a lot of things that's the same, but I mean, there's going to be some things a little bit different, obviously with your coaching style too. What's kind of the culture you're looking to, to instill with this team too, and, and kind of your brand of basketball that you're looking to play with this, this uh, Jefferson squad. Yeah, sure. No, great question. Uh, it's, it, you know, my philosophy is my philosophy. We want to play fast. Um, you know, we want to speed the game up as much as we can. We, you know, we like to say, let's make it attract me. You know, we want to get out and go. I'm not very patient offensively to move the ball around, you know, six, seven passes. So if we can score in transition and just, you know, treat the ball as the baton um, like we do in the spring, then I, I think we can have some success and, you know, hopefully put some numbers up. But obviously you got to play defense, you know, and you got to rebound. You got to have a toughness about you. So we'll work. We'll, uh, you know, we've been focused on playing fast, playing tough. Um, making smart decisions and, uh, you know, ultimately it's just playing together. You know, we, we go back to whatever sport, you know, God allows me to be in charge of it. We're going to talk about relationships and, uh, you know, the more we get to know each other, the, the, the more we understand where, where the next person will be. And, uh, you know, it, listen, man, I'm, I'm like overly excited. I, you know, I can't lie, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that identity, that, that grit, we'll talk about that grit. just like we do, uh, we've done all fall and, uh, I think we have some tough – girls are tough. Girls are tough, you know, and I'm, I'm excited um, to see this thing be put together. You know, it's obviously going to be a process, but we're, we're all looking forward to it. The energy is great. Um, the energy was great in open gyms. You know, these girls are meeting in the weight room right after school, and um, they, they've been getting after it. And last night, you know, just happened to be our, our best practice so far. We got after it last week. We went to Richmond Heights and, uh, you know, scrimmage Copley and, and Richmond and – and uh, Trinity and just some tough, tough programs, probably the fastest no kids we'll see um, for a while. And, uh, 
man, it was good. They, I'm not, they were running past us, <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. but uh, you know, as the, as the, the night went on, we started figuring things out a little bit. And like I said, it's, we're, we're, we're going to take some lumps and uh, hopefully more in the off season, make the off season as tough as we can. And, and uh, we open up with, with Hubbard, the 27, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that schedule. And I mean, I just remember when 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 uh, Sammy Torres was telling me that you were going to take over the reins of, of girls basketball there. I said that those girls were going to be in for a treat with you. Uh, you at that head coaching <laughs> position. The, the, the teams in Ashtabula County, though, they're going to be tough and they, they play some good basketball as well. You talked about that non-conference game. You start off with Hubbard. Shout out the conference schedule. Sh- schedule. Shout out the non-conference schedule too. some games you're excited for this season to test your girls with. Sure. You know, obviously uh, at the, at the top of our, 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 you know, our part of the CBC is, you know, Madison has a tough program. Um, You know, we could argue probably has the toughest player coming back. Um, Thank God she's a senior and, uh, you know, she, she's fun to watch, (laughs) you know, I'm watching her, you know, on film last week and she's tough. So they got, they're doing well. Um, Edgewood always has a solid girls basketball program. And, uh, you know, we, we know we have our hands full with those four games. there, playing those, those guys twice. And, uh, you know, you can't sleep on Geneva. And, and and to me, I'm always a fan of the underdog, you know. So the teams that have struggled the last couple of years, you know, we like to say that, you know, you're due at some point. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll we'll stay alert. We'll keep our eyes open, you know, all season long. And, uh, you know, we're, we're in for some battles. We did pick up Gilmore. Uh, we, we played against them in the summer and um, obviously a, a tough, prestigious program. And, uh, you know, so they do come here um, this winter and, you uh, you know, we always keep our connect in the NEA. So we got a couple of those <laughs> uh, you guys coming over. Um, so, yeah, no, there's a lot of good, you know, a lot of good things going on. But our, our conference, you know, we, we have nothing but, you know, respect for those guys. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the battles. I love your way to be able your the way you're able to connect with with kids too, and, and athletes and all different levels too, and all different types of sports. What's the secret, man, to, to be able to find that connection to and, and be able to speak to kids that come from different backgrounds and to have different personalities? Sure. No, I appreciate that, man. It's such a such a compliment. Um, it, it, to me, it, it, same stuff we've been talking about, Tyler. It's 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 the relationship. You know what I mean? It's the authenticity. It's it's just being real. And and I think, uh, you know, coaches, we, we wear a lot of hats and um and I'm, I'm so less about scheme, you know, than I am about who are you outside of the uniform, outside of the helmet, you know, we say, and uh, I, I just, I guess I just genuinely tend to, to care to get to know the person um, as a, as a young lady and, and as a young man and, um, you know, start to learn some of their goals, their dreams, their desires. And uh, I, I think that's how you find a way to connect. And, uh, you know, the more connected you are, the, the, the more authentic you are, to me, it's it's not what can I get out of you, but when you get a team in a locker room to um, to want to play tough for you because they know that you care about them, um, you know your program is is headed in the right direction. So I, I can't say that we're there right now with basketball, but that is the challenge, um, the, the challenge room that I've entered into, and uh, you know I'm I'm excited for it, man. They've been they've been fun. Um, they, their energy is great. They're their ears are wide open, their eyes are wide open, they're listening. And, um, man, I said it, you know, we talked about being the loudest gym, um, you know, in the county. And and I tell you what, man, they got after it yesterday. I said, the less I got to talk, the better we are, you know, and, and they're, they're taking that early. I know it's early, but it's, it's just fun. I'm the process is fun, but yeah, I, I think it's just the relationships and being, being authentic, man, is where, um, you know, our programs have tended to, uh, to find some some success yeah that's that naturally inspiring way that you speak to you always have you always get me fired up ready to run through a brick wall for you you (laughs) we all have bad days though so how are you able to to balance that out and and still serve as that inspiration and that inspirational voice for for your kids and for the the kids you coach yeah i i think that's where the 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 parenting trick comes in right so i you know i i gotta go home from from long days sometimes you know, 14 hour days. And, uh, you know, there's a little girl that's just waiting on me to come through the door and be Superman. Right. And, and play Barbies and, and, uh, you know, do all the things we don't, we don't talk about enough, you know, as men, but, uh, I, she keeps me balanced, you know, and, and I also have a daughter in this program now, um, who's a freshman who, uh, you know, she keeps me on my toes. So when practice is over, it's not, you know, she, they, her and, and some other girls, they just want to be there. 
And um, the fact that they care and they, again, it's, it's, it's what they want. You know, if I can help you in some way accomplish, you know, get a little closer to your goal or your, your dreams or your desires, then, then um, it, it fills something in me as well. So listen, as much as I pour out, you know, they, they, they give back, you know, and they give back in, in many ways. And, I said, it's just, uh, they, they keep me going. And, and here's the thing, Tyler, I probably, it's probably been about seven, eight years now, dude, I was homeless, you know? And, and I, I think about that and I'm like, it, there's nothing, uh, that I could go through or experience at this, um, in, in this field that I, that I'm, you know, blessed to be in that could ever, um, be worse than that. Right. And so I am. So this energy, it's not fake. This passion, it's real. You know, it's uh, the authenticity. I, it's, it's all I know is to be who I'm created to be, man. And I'm so blessed and fortunate to show up to a school every day with kids who are looking at me to give something to them. Right. In, in multiple ways. So it's yeah. got to feel full circle moment for you now that the the young ones with the with the team right the home life is now blended with the the school coaching life right it's got to be full yeah. circle for you yeah <laughs> listen a boy asked her to homecoming i'm like what is going on <laughs> <laughs> no but she uh you know it it it's been great we we keep the dad and, and the daughter out of you know the coaching element mm-hmm. as, as best we can. But the thing is, man, is just to just get as close with, with all of them. And, and, you know, we, I do my best, man, pride myself on just treating everybody equally and, and, um, you know, pushing everyone the same way and building everyone up the same way. And um, we just want to build uh, one big family. Right. And, and uh, I, I do, I, my, she's just a freshman. So she's got a, you know, we have some good seniors who are who are leading right now. We have some good juniors, Abby Fike and and Danny Furman, who are doing a great job just, you know, putting their arm around the freshmen that we have, the sophomores that we have. And and um, it, they're building this thing together. You know, it's it's a collective deal going on right now. And yeah, it's a there, there's a good balance. We get in the car. We don't you know, we don't really talk basketball in the car. Um we watch it at home. We got to flip back and forth. I remember the Steelers were playing a couple Sunday nights ago, and we're flipping back and forth between the, you know, the WNBA championship. <laughs> Catching them both, yeah. yeah. So this third down, though, we got. <laughs> you got. You got to give the love to both sports now. Right. Too. Right. Equal love to both. Well, I want to talk about the the assistant coaches too, and some other big names in this program too that are going to be helping you establish that culture too and build this family that you're trying to build. Sure, man. It's 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 not too different than than what I normally do. My my dad is going to be our uh, our JV coach, Coach Mel Hanna. Um, you know, he brings some good knowledge, good wisdom um, to our program, and he and he brings a, a good level of toughness. Just being a military guy, but he's also um, man, he's a lot softer than me somehow, and um, so he <laughs> he he keeps the the healthy balance there. Um, you know, so I'm excited to have him. Somebody I trust. Somebody I love. Um, you know, and sitting next to me through the in, in this journey, obviously, and uh, somebody the kids will he's he's a great kid connector as well. Um, so that'll be good for us. And we have, um, you know, a couple volunteer assistants, Gina Gabriel. Uh, I'm not sure if I was supposed to say that, but she uh, she she brings a lot of knowledge and wisdom um, to our program and she'll be around when she can be around. And uh, she brings a toughness and a grit. You know, you can just tell through conversation and, you know, when, when she's able to be there that she elevates the gym uh, for sure. So and then, uh, you know, Willie Ortega is, is another volunteer assistant and, you know, he's coaching boys, too. And, uh, you know, he's just again, just a good that, that the four of us, just a good group of of a good mix. Right. We're all a little mm-hmm. different. We all bring a little something, a different spice to the table and uh uh, just people I can trust and, and people that I know can, you know, connect with kids and, and be genuine with kids. So we're pretty, pretty good staff. We're excited to, we're excited to have for sure. I always like having a theme question each and every year when I go through all these basketball coaches this year is uh, what the game has taught you. And I mean, you guys are all teachers of the game. You teach girl, girls and, and boys of all ages too with sports, but I want to know what's the biggest lesson that the sport of basketball has taught you. Yeah, you know, there's two. There's a goofy one. The one is that you're you're never you football players think they're in shape, and I tell you what, when when October wraps up and you step on that hardwood in November, you you get humbled and exposed immediately. 
Uh, so I remember just being a big, bad, you know, football player and uh, I couldn't breathe, you know, <laughs> during tryouts. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, that that's one thing uh, that it didn't let you forget for those four years. But, you know, I, I think the other thing, man, is it, it's another opportunity to be in a locker room. Um, it's another opportunity to get on the bus. And the, the difference between the two for me is that this is a smaller group, you know, and, and the less people there are to me, the, the, the easier it is to connect. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not, it's such a transitional sport, you know, it's you're on defense, you get a rebound, you, you kick it out and you're right back to offense. And, and, um, it's just, you have to be communicating in it. And, and that, that's what I've got out of it is that, you know, it, it's, it's very similar to life. And, um, you know, you're, you're a head football coach one minute, you're coaching girls the next and you're coaching 10, you know, it's just a, um, it's been pretty reflective to my lifestyle is just, you know, nonstop transition and moving from one thing to the other and, and making sure that communication is clear along the way. You mentioned Hubbard. I want you to shout out that and some other games they could catch you along the way too. And a uh, shout out to Jefferson as to why they need to catch this girls team this year. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we got Hubbard, we got a, uh, you know, we have Lakeview as well. Um, you know, Hubbard is talked about because it's, it's the opener and it's at the house and it's on the new court. And, um, you know, so we're excited about that. I think two programs that were kind of in the, in the same place or similar to the same spot, you know, last year. And, uh, you know, so we'll, we're looking forward to November 27th, obviously Gilmore, anytime you can get um, a program that's an 18 plus win team, you know, year in and year out um, to come to Jefferson, that, that says a lot. So, uh, you know, I'm shout out our girls for earning a little bit of respect this summer and, you know, feeling like that, that bus ride was necessary. And, uh, you know, obviously again, our, our whole league, we won't, you know, it doesn't matter who ended at the top and who ended at the bottom. It's that, that, those are going to be some tough ones, but you know, we have a, uh, you know, Madison circled on there, you know, who, who was at the top. We, we, we want to shoot for that. Um, you know, Madison and Edgewood and, uh, listen, man, our girls are going to be, they're, they're going to be fun. They're going to play fast. Um, they're going to play physical. You know, we're, we're going to, we're going to get on the floor for loose balls. We're going to turn 50, 50 balls into 80, 20. And, uh, you know, we're going to we're it's, it's, it's going to be loud. It's going to be um, controlled chaos, you know, and, and that's how we try to practice is make this thing crazy and make it feel like, you know, the other team's being guarded by eight kids at the same time and um, and just push this thing while they're trying to figure out, you know, what happened on the other end of the floor. So uh, those are things I hope for. Right. But uh, like I said, it's, it's early. We'll see. But one thing about us, man, it'll be a family. That's for sure. Well, Coach, I'm excited to see the product that's going to be out on the court, too. I'm excited to see how this program continues to grow with you uh, you heading it, too, as, as the skipper of it, too. I know those girls are in for a real treat as they get to continue to grow and know you, too. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you uh, on the hardwood here real soon. Yes, sir, Tyler, man. Thanks for everything you do, man. You, all, you always crush it, man. Keep it up. Thank you, brother. I'll be talking to you again real soon. It's been a first yes, edition with, of Coach's Corner with the legend, Brandon Hanna. My man. Yes, sir.